Why do kidneys fail? Most kidney diseases attack the nephrons causing them to lose their filtering capacity. Damage to the nephrons can happen quickly. Often as a result of injury or poisoning but most kidney diseases destroy the nephrons slowly and silently. Only after years or even decades will the damage become apparent. Most kidney diseases attack both kidneys simultaneously. The two most common causes of kidney disease are diabetes and high blood pressure. People with a family history of any kind of kidney problem are also at risk for kidney disease. Diabetic Kidney Disease Diabetes is a disease that keeps the body from using glucose, a form of sugar, as it should. If glucose stays in the blood instead of breaking down, it can act like a poison. Damage to the nephrons from unused glucose in the blood is called diabetic kidney disease. Keeping blood glucose levels down can delay or prevent diabetic kidney disease. Use of medications called angiotensin converting enzyme ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers ARBs to treat high blood pressure can also slow or delay the progression of diabetic kidney disease. High blood pressure High blood pressure can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys. The damaged vessels cannot filter waste from the blood as they are supposed to. A doctor may prescribe blood pressure medication. The National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute, one of the national institutes of health, recommends that people with diabetes or reduced kidney function keep their blood pressure below 130 by 80. Glomerular diseases Several types of kidney disease are grouped together under this category, including autoimmune diseases, infection-related diseases, and sclerotic diseases. As the name indicates, glomerular diseases attack the tiny blood vessels or glomeruli within the kidney. The first sign of glomerular disease is often proteinuria, which is too much protein in the urine. Another common sign is hematuria, which is blood in the urine. Some people may have both proteinuria and hematuria. Glomerular diseases can slowly destroy kidney function. Blood pressure control is important with any kidney disease. Glomerular diseases are usually diagnosed with a biopsy, a procedure that involves taking a piece of kidney tissue for examination with a microscope. Treatments for glomerular diseases may include immunosuppressive drugs or steroids to reduce inflammation and proteinuria, depending on the specific disease. Inherited and congenital kidney diseases Some kidney diseases result from hereditary factors. Polycystic kidney disease, PKD, for example, is a genetic disorder in which many cysts grow in the kidneys. PKD cysts can slowly replace much of the mass of the kidneys, reducing kidney function and leading to kidney failure. 
Some kidney problems may show up when a child is still developing in the womb. The signs of kidney disease in children vary. A child may grow unusually slowly, vomit often or have back or side pain. Some kidney diseases may be silent causing no signs or symptoms for months or even years. If a child has a kidney disease, the child's doctor should find it during a regular checkup. The first sign of a kidney problem may be high blood pressure, a low number of red blood cells called anemia, proteinuria or hematuria. If the doctor finds any of these problems, further tests may be necessary including additional blood and urine test or radiology studies. In some cases, the doctors may need to perform a biopsy. Some hereditary kidney diseases may not be detected until adulthood. But with advances in diagnostic imaging technology, doctors have found cysts in children and adolescents before any symptoms appear. Other causes of kidney diseases Poisons and trauma such as a direct and forceful blow to the kidneys can lead to a kidney disease. Some over-the-counter medicines can be poisonous to the kidneys if taken regularly over a long period of time. Anyone who takes painkillers regularly should check up with the doctor to make sure the kidneys are not at risk. How do kidneys fail? Many factors that influence the speed of kidney failure are not completely understood. Researchers are still studying how protein in the diet and cholesterol levels in a blood affect kidney function. Acute kidney injury Some kidney problems happen quickly, such as when an accident injures the kidneys. Losing a lot of blood can cause sudden kidney failure. Some drugs or poisons can make the kidneys stop working. These sudden drops in kidney function are called acute kidney injury. Some doctors may also refer to this condition as acute renal failure. Acute kidney injury may lead to permanent loss of kidney function. But if the kidneys are not seriously damaged, acute kidney disease may be reversed. Chronic kidney disease. Most kidney problems, however, happen slowly. A person may have silent kidney disease for years. Gradual loss of kidney function is called chronic kidney disease or chronic renal insufficiency. People with chronic kidney disease may go on to the develop permanent kidney failure. They also have a high risk of death from a stroke or heart attack. End stage renal disease. Total or nearly total and permanent kidney failure is called end stage renal disease. People with end stage renal disease must undergo dialysis or transplantation to stay alive. What are the signs of chronic kidney diseases? People in the early stages of chronic kidney disease usually do not feel sick at all. People whose kidney disease has gotten worse may feel tired, lost their appetite or experience nausea and vomiting, have swelling in their hands or feet, 
feel itchy or numb, get drowsy or have trouble concentrating, have darkened skin, have muscle cramps.